Oh wow, so cool. What, what was that? Oh, hello there. You must be here for the meatball exhibit as well. Well, do I have great news for you? Because it's sitting right here. You must have watched my last video where I created this new game called Neatball. And on top of this game, I built an AI to find the best results of the game using Neat. Today, I'm gonna show you Neatball in real life. I'm just gonna pick this up right here. What, what was that? Oh, you're interested in how it was built first. Yeah, we can definitely talk about that. To begin, let's start off with the ball, the bat, and the board. So I started with the bat. The bat was pretty much as a pentagonal shape that had a hole going through it so I could put the screw through it to connect it to the board. And then I had a hole that will basically act as like a parachute to capture all the air that's coming out the solenoid valve. I just measured that hole to make it big enough to fit the steel pipe that I'm using. And now that the bat was done 3D printing, I was ready to bring everything outside and start painting. The ball was simply just a ping pong ball and the board was a square piece of plywood. So we got all of our painting gear out to match the components colors within the game. So after everything was done drying, I was ready to put the screw in through the bat and connect it to the board. All we have underneath the bat is just a ball bearing to make it easier to spin. Back so soon I see. So now that we talked about the bat, the ball, and the board, let's talk about how we're gonna slide this ball to the bat. We have the slider, we have the way we're going to swing the bat with our solenoid valve, and we have our camera. Let's get to it. For the slider, I tried a few different things. I modeled different slides in Fusion 360, some simple, some extravagant, but I ended up settling on the PVC pipe that I just cut. This actually worked out a lot better than I thought. Perfect. And it also gave me a reason to bring out the blade again. So right here is what we're gonna be using to hit the bat to make it move extremely fast. We needed that extreme initial velocity like we had in Neatball. Um, so I was trying to figure out different ways and I came up with this, this mechanism right here. Instead of using, at first I was gonna use a spring, but I'm gonna go with the solenoid valve. Uh, we're gonna use this pump to basically just pump this in here and hold the air inside of this little portion right here until we send a signal to let the air out through the solenoid valve. And that's about it. We have our black steel pipe holding the air and this was gonna be pushing it out. I didn't really need a long one like this, but I used a long one. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, before I had this tank, before I started using this tank, I was using this simple bike tool, which just has CO2 inside of it. And I was using this to pump the uh, solenoid valve up. Now I'm gonna be using this. That's about it. That's about it for there. Back to you. For the camera, we're just using the CSI Pi V2 camera. And what we have the camera hooked onto is a phone holder. Ten kilo ohm resistor, sixty-eight kilo ohm resistor to twenty kilo ohm resistor. Oh, back again. It's almost as if you're skipping through this video. You're going a little too quick. But anyway, we talked about the solenoid valve that's gonna push this back, hit it like this. We talked about the slide that's gonna go like this to slide the ball. We talked about the board. We talked about the camera. Last but not least is the thing that's gonna be controlling all of this, our microcontroller. So I've had a Raspberry Pi 4 sitting in my closet almost since it came out. I've been needing to find a reason to use it and I thought this project was gonna fit the bill, but it definitely didn't. I needed a microcontroller that was gonna have very fast response time and very little latency between the camera and the Pi. But, the Pi 4 did not hold its water. So I went back to my closet, hoping that I had another microcontroller that I can use. And lo and behold, sitting right there, the Jetson Nano. So I had to do a little research to figure out how bad the process would be from converting from the Pi to the Nano. Spoiler alert, it was easy. Not only was migration easy, the latency was almost non-existent. It was so beautiful everything came together. The code is pretty simple. 
If you haven't watched the last video, you need to watch that to understand how we got this hit range. This hit range is what the AI found to be the most optimal solution. Now I know we're not running any neural networks in here, but it's still considered an AI project because that's what a neural network is, is to find the best results and then to use those best results. You're not going to still have an AI learn when you're trying to implement your neural network. This is what the AI found as the hit range. It wanted to be 1.075 pixels away from the bat. So when we first start the app, we'll have an option to choose where we want our origin to be. In Neatball on the computer, our origin was the bat. But in real life, we have to account for latency. We have to account for the solenoid valve going off and different things like that. So we'll most likely put our origin a little further away from the bat like right here, we'll press enter, and now our video will run. All it does is mask the whole screen and looks for this pink circle. And how it's doing that is with a blob detector. And that's about it. When it crosses this line, the solenoid valve will go off and it will shoot the bat. After that, it's finally time to test everything out. One thing that it do was give it more voltage. The solenoid valve was a 12 volt valve but there was some drop off between the valve and the relay to the nano so i gave it 12.5 volts instead of giving it 12 volts and i also boosted the amps up a tiny bit but anyway it's time it's what we've all came for let's see how everything turned out It always feels so good when you get done a project. It didn't go as well as I wanted it to. I wanted that bat to hit a lot harder. I was using 140 PSI, but the issue was that I was using only inside of this little container. So there wasn't a lot of air being contained inside of here. I should have used a bigger pipe, but we got the ball being able to be hit using a camera in real life. So I really like that. The Jetson Nano was amazing. I'm definitely using that in more projects. I love the Jetson Nano. Raspberry Pi 4, you got, you, got, you got to step it up, man. I don't know what you're doing. All you did was burn me the whole time. It's freaking hot Raspberry Pi. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, I love the Justin Nan. I'm definitely using that in different projects. I don't know if I would ever come back to this project, but I definitely want that bat hitting a lot harder. So I'm going to think of more ways down the line. At first, I was going to use a spring and hold the spring back and somehow release that spring. But I ended up going with the pneumatics because I wanted to learn about pneumatics. It's my first time using pneumatics. But we brought Neatball out in real life. What can I say? I'm kind of proud. <laughs> you guys know the drill by now. What video is this of mine? What, my eighth, ninth? I don't know. Some video. Speaking of which, my one year anniversary is coming up in about two or three months. I can't wait for that video. I have a big idea for that video and I can't wait. It's gonna actually be a little later than my actual one year because I have to wait for a certain date. But I'm hype about that video. That's not gonna be my next video though, so don't worry. There's gonna be a video coming before then maybe two. Anyway, you guys know the drill. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. You know, just talk. Let's talk. Let's talk about different things. If you guys had any better ideas of how I could hit that bat, uh, comment down below. I want to hear what you guys think. Or maybe you like my idea and I just needed it to tweak it a little bit. But as always, continue to embrace the spark.